I welcome you all to my new online computer class that is step to learn so in this class today we are going to see computer virus as we all have heard the term virus earlier or now but many of you have even had an attack of viral fever which may have left you what weak like cold fever headache whatever just like biological virus attack our body computer virus also attack our computer system so what does a computer virus do so the computer virus try to take control of the computer system it has infected at the first opportunity available it make copy of itself and also try to carry out the harmful tax written in his program this process can happen so quickly that the user does not even aware of the presence of virus in on in his or her system so here the answer is very clear now what does this computer virus do this computer virus just wait, waiting for a chance if we give the opportunity to enter this virus what this virus do just in the first place only it help the computer system so let us see what is a computer virus a computer virus are small program that are written or that are designed to spread from one computer to another to interfere with computer program or we can say a virus is a program that enter the computer system by itself to another computer program and spread itself across the system so any one of this you can write so this is the work of virus what is a virus nothing but a small program written or designed to spread from one computer to another to interfere with computer operation so next we have how does a virus affect the computer system virus affect the computer system by corrupting or deleting the data on your computers or even erase everything on your hard disk so let us see next what are the main symptoms of computer infection so here are the main symptoms now at first place a program take time to load the usual time after any virus attack the computer system what it does it take very long time to load for example before it took one second now it took one minute so the first symptom is what a program thing time to load okay and second is what a hard disk show no space though there is enough space okay second is what strange sound or beeping noise come from the computer so next we have unknown program start when you turn on your computer the program that you have never even saw in your system that type of program has automatically started when you switch on the computer strange graphic are displayed in your monitor next we have new file keep appearing on the system install memory become less without any reason computer often stop responding next we have file have strange name you do not recognize and last we have what windows will not start at all so these are the 10 symptoms that make that will make us know that computer has got infected by a virus so we have to keep in mind this 10 symptoms go through it nicely read it nicely you will understand okay from 1 to 10 there are 10 complete symptoms so the most dangerous is what the last one that is windows will not start at all so don't let this happen to your computer so we have to understand we have to know the computers so these are the symptoms through which we can know that computer is infected by virus next is what how does a computer get infected with virus a computer get infected with virus when we get an email with a virus infected file and open it to read it now virus as you all know that computer virus is created by whom by a programmer by a user by a programmer now for example how it get infected for example if someone send you an email or a file if you download that one, if you open that one, automatically you get 
you give way to the virus to enter your computer system so next is what we when we download a file from the internet that contain a virus and we run it downloading watching youtube facebook whatsapp whatever we need what net so we should keep in mind as we are running net in our mobile phones or computers so we have to be very conscious otherwise what happened virus may attack your computer system and it may spoil or it may erase or may it may corrupt all your data and next we have by transmission through computer networks if we connect an infected computer with same in same network that way in that way also the computer uh, the virus may attack our computer system and next we have if we boot a computer with an infected disk so next we have what steps should be taken to prevent virus infection now in order to prevent virus infection we have to follow the given step what are the given steps you have to follow use original software from a trusted source whenever you want to download any software from internet you have to see the trusted source that site is trusted or not that site is secure or not you have to see that one and next we have use safe web browser and trusted email client you should use what safe web browsers like chrome mozilla firefox etc okay <coughs> and trusted email client like gmail yahoo okay and next install antivirus software and keep it updated this is the main important thing we have to install what the antivirus software and we have to keep that antivirus up to date every month every year so that new virus cannot enter our computer system if you not update your antivirus what happen as we all know virus is created by what user so user will try to make new new viruses no if your virus uh, if your antivirus is of this year and you have not updated so in 2021 new virus will come if you will not update the antivirus that new virus can easily enter okay so that for that reason only simply installing antivirus is not the use we have to update the antivirus in order to protect our computer system so that scan new new disk program and file before use if you have an antivirus software scan with your antivirus software and then you open it so let us solve a fill in blank okay virus are, virus are created by does you write computer program who create virus virus is created by programmer a computer can be infected with virus by transmission through computer network install the software can be prevent computer from virus infection install what antivirus software a virus must dash or delete data on your computer what will be the answer answer will be what corrupt for today i end my class here hope you understand hope you understand if you have not answer you can write a comment if you have any doubt on any chapter you can ask me so i'll try to make more videos in order to make you understand so thank you stay safe be strong and take care god bless you all so don't forget to like share and subscribe my youtube channel and also don't forget to hit the bell icon it will notify you for a new uploaded videos